So on today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful rose um, soap petals. Um, it's a wonderful formula um, and I found it, um, it just really is a fun project to work on. So stay tuned and I will walk you through step by step on how I go about doing this. Okay, so you're going to start out um, with a clear base of um, just melt and pour soap and you're going to want to cut it into small I don't small little chunks squares whatever you want to call it just so that they melt easy so I'm gonna go ahead and do that Okay, so now I've put all my melt and pour soap in my um, heat safe container and I'm going to go ahead and um, just heat it on the stove in my double boiler um, method um, and I'll show you that here in a second. So here is the soap on the double boiler and I am just going to let it um, melt. I have it on the lowest um, setting. Um, just so that it doesn't boil because you don't want your soap to boil. So real quick, I wanted to show you the paper that I use for my, um, my flower petals. This is actually, um, really light weight paper. Um, and I'll go ahead and, um, leave it in the description box on where you can purchase some. Um, but it is wafer paper. So I know that, um, you can use this for cake decorating or um, anything like that. But this is um, what I am using. So this picture shows some flowers that I printed out. Um, I ended up just doing the petals myself and cutting them out. Okay, now that um, your soap is melted, you're going to go ahead and um, add just a drop or two or whatever, how much colorant you want. might actually be better this way. All right. And for this, I'm going to add a little bit of pink. And then you're going to want to stir it. All right. Now you're going to take your paper. I'm actually going to add, before I do that, I'm going to add some essential oil to my soap. And you can use whatever fragrance you want. Um, essential oils, fragrance oil, and then you're going to immerse your paper in, in the soap. And then you're going to want to, um, any ex excess, you're going to just want to, um, 
just remove. Um, and then you're going to just want to let it air dry for um, just a few seconds. It usually only takes about 10, 15 seconds. And then once it's dry, um, you've got these beautiful um, soap papers. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and let Here this I am dry. Showing you a picture of the rose petals that I made. Um, so I ended up just um, putting them on a paper towel, but you could use um, wax paper, um, paper plate, whatever you choose. Um, and this just, um, I did this because I wanted to let them completely dry before use. So I'm going to show you how to use the soap paper. So you're going to put it in your hand and you're, it's going to lather. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's lathering pretty good. And then as you continue to lather it, um, the soap will um, start to deteriorate and become smaller. And um, the scent is really nice. See, you can tell the paper's starting to disintegrate. Um, and it's a fun way to kind of um, wash your hands. It makes a really good gift. Um, and as you can see, the paper is pretty much gone. Um, it doesn't leave a stain on your hands. And it um, cleanses your hands. So thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more DIY formulas, don't forget to like and subscribe.